Hey guys, it's your boy Programmer Arnab and today we are here for our next Python lesson. You my boy, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's get started. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn about what are the operators and how to use this. I'm not going to use the code editor today much. Let's go on the shell. Let's see if a equal to 5 and b equal to then then what should we do like we can print the stuff like a plus b so here the plus is the operator you can do the same by a minus b and minus is the operator a multiplication we write asterisk sign for that a multiplication b and then a divide by b divide is like slash so all these are the operators plus minus multiplication and divide all these are called operators and these are called arithmetic operators you have learned that in math but there in programming there are two additional operators one is called sorry three additional operators one is one is called floor division operator that means double slash b so what you can see here 5 by 10 is half so the a by b will give you the output half but a double slash b that means floor division will always give you an uh, integer value that means it will ignore the stuff after the point points it will ignore all the stuff after the decimal that means if it is 1.5 you will get the one only one so that's how the floor division works uh, then we have the modular operator a percentage b that means uh, by, by if you divide 5 by 10 then you will get the remainder of it here and if I do like um, the other operator is the it's called exponent a double asterisk b that means a to the power b that means if it's a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2 then it's 2 square something like that so these are the basic operators of Python and you can actually use them in all other programming languages too but they have a slightly different syntax like the plus minus divide uh, this much is uh, same everywhere like in Java, C, C++, every <coughs> sorry, plus minus asterisk and divide are the same, and even the modular is same, and maybe the exponents are same, but the floor division can change sometimes. Anyway, that is the operators today. Now let's discuss about if else statements. If else statements are called a decision making statement because it helps you to make decisions like if you want to do that then do that or you can do anything else let's take an example if a student gets marks so we will store the marks in the marks variable so I name the variable marks uh, suppose it get 49% okay so the 49 is stored in marks so we have to write if to start the if statement we have to write if then we will write marks if marks sorry mark I will do it marks sorry if marks equal to equal to that's double equal to because if you type one equal to it will just like value assigning means you are giving this value inside this but if you want to make sure that it's equal to that then you have to uh, place two equal to's here that's a operator so we will say marks equal to equal to 50 if it is then <coughs> you have to write this colon here so if marks equal to 50 then do something I will change that for 50 for now after that there is a stuff which Python forces you to do 
python says that you have to write beautiful codes no matter what it takes otherwise the python won't run so what it does is you have to actually give uh, four spaces here one two three four in order to print anything or write anything you can even tap a space bar here sorry you can type the tab button here tab key in your keyboard that will automatically give you four spaces after that you can print something like uh, yes it <coughs> I got 50 marks something like that so it will do something like checks the what is the marks it will say if marks equal to 50 then do this so yes it, it printed the line and insert that but what if the marks is not 50 then what so we have to write an else statement here if marks is 50 then okay if it is not then print something print no I got no marks something like that or whatever you want so let's change the marks to 51 and see it gets like this so this is a decision making statement you if you have a variable you can decide which what to run here if user gives his age like I am 18 years old then something other code will run and if he is not 18 then other code will run you can use this in many more ways uh, there is another statement called <coughs> else if statement so you that is basically adding another if statement just you have to type l if that means else if means you have to write another condition here marks is less than let's say less than greater than um 20 if marks is greater than 20 then print uh i am not a child okay so let's see if max is less greater than 20 then this will run and we know that this condition did not work because it the max is not 50 and this didn't work because the condition is matched here if these both condition doesn't match then the program will see the else block these are one type of blocks every, every this is a block this is a block every of this is a block so you can decide some things like if this is it then you can run that or if it, it is it is not then you can run the other line let's take a, a, another example let's try to take the input from the user for now input uh, enter your age let's do this, something like this okay now if age is equal to is equal to 18 if the age is 18 print adult else uh, okay let's let's do something like this if the age is greater than sorry greater than or equal to 18 then print adult you know these signs these signs are basic in math operators you have learned them in math, math classes so if it's 18 yes if it is bigger than 18 or it is 18 then it's adult or print uh, child or kid or whatever you want so let's see it says what is your age I will say I am 19 so oops, sorry I just messed up okay. and uh, one other thing I forget to tell you how to run your codes you can see this run button here you have to just go there and press F5 or click on this run module 
so I will say I have 19 years old okay it says there is an error the name age is not defined oh, sorry uh, I messed up here sorry okay I am 19 and it says I am adult now let's run the code again if I say I am 12 it says I'm a child so that's how we can decide take decision stuffs here in the next lesson we will learn more about this if else and we will learn how to use them with operators thank you guys for staying with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like this video see you on the next one